Hello, I am at my gym and I wanted to share something. When I got into my yoga class today, I overheard someone introducing a Japanese ballerina to the yoga teacher. And I don't know how much you know about classical ballet training, but it's very complicated. I'm a great hip hop dancer. I've had very little ballet and it was kind of intimidating to me. And then my ego came to the party and my ego said, oh my gosh, a ballerina, she's going to be so much better at yoga than me. And hi, Tom, she's going to be better at yoga than me and better at stretching and more flexible. And I was just being rude to myself basically because I'm not a Japanese ballerina. And I told myself, okay, go to your meditation training. Comparing in that way is not healthy, and I think we all do it. My brother has a better car than me. Um, my sister has three kids. I only have two. Everyone compares themselves to other people for different reasons, but it's not healthy unless you view it as teacher and student. So if you view, in this case, I view the ballerina as the teacher because I really respect classically trained ballerinas. If I'm always the teacher or the student in various situations in life, then I don't compare myself in a negative, unhealthy way. So an interesting thing happened during yoga. This ballerina, which I was so intimidated by, was watching me to know how to do yoga. And so that's a super rock star moment for me. How exciting is that? Here I was, nervous about nothing, comparing myself to someone for no reason. And it turned out to be a really beautiful thing. I mean, Japanese women obviously are among the most beautiful in the world already, but this one was a ballerina, so that's like a, a 10 out of 10, baby. Have a good day and do things to make yourself feel better and view yourself as the teacher or the student. Don't compare in ways that are self-deprecating. It's not worth it. Ciao.